Hi, my name is Bert Broeland and this is Bert Screencast for the day. And uh, this screencast will uh, feature um, a presentation I did for a bank um, about natural user interfaces. And I'll try to uh, give the same presentation with the bank specific stuff out of it. And um, I will think I did it in 45 minutes. So I will do it in 20 uh, seconds, I want to say. I, I'll, I'll try to do it in, in, in 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and I'll break it up in two, three, maybe even four parts. Um, so here it goes. Here is the uh, first slide. Just oh, be quiet and listen now, because uh, I'm going to talk about natural user interface. Um, a natural user interface, it was features, for example, in Minority Report, an excellent movie that is just not uh, about pre-crime and all stuff related, but also featured the, uh, um, the, the, the main character who is able to, to uh, uh, use gestures for uh, for interacting with a computer. That's a natural user interface. Okay, this is a slide I often use in my um, in my presentations. I, I, I speak fast. Maybe you haven't noticed, but I speak fast. So I'm unstoppable. Um, during a normal presentation, you can uh, ask me questions and, and, uh, and stop. That's unfortunately not possible in this uh, presentation where we uh, uh, where it's more a monologue. And most of my presentations, I try to be Sorry, not to be funny, but make it fun. And this is as much fun you can have for one euro. At least I think so. So that's me. My name is Bert Boerland. Uh, I don't claim to be a, a user interface expert. Not at all. Uh, but I like to play along with uh, cutting edge technologies. So I have lots of uh, uh, natural user interface experience with the Leap, Connect, uh, Sound, all kinds of uh, stuff we'll, we'll see about later. This, for example, is... Uh, uh, um, my connect where I scan my uh, my room and that's per se not a natural user interface but if you interact with it with a connect and uh, use it as a, an input device for your uh, interactions it can become a natural user interface maybe you've seen a connect in, in, in um, an Xbox environment you can also use it on your computer in fact that's the reason or at least I tell myself why I bought a, 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 an Xbox in the first place <laughs> So follow me on Twitter, I'm the black sheep on the Twitter, uh, at Bert Boerland, B-E-R-T-B-O-E-R-L-N-A-N-D, and I hope I spelled it right. I don't think so. Uh, let's jump into the uh, presentation. So this is a short clip of a longer clip that um, a group of artists made for a soda, I think a Pepsi Cola, something like that, where they used the Kinect as an interface for uh, making the music. That was um, a huge, uh, a huge projection on the wall made with three, four uh, beamers. Uh, a Kinect that's scanning the, the main person that's interacting, and it's making the beat. It's making, um, making the, uh, the, uh, the sound by using gestures and. Uh, all kinds of stuff. I'll uh, I'll do the full um, full clip in the show notes. It's it is actually a good song. It's beautiful made documentary if you would like it uh, about how they made the song, and it it was featured in iTunes. I think the top ten, maybe even one. This is another example, excellent example of someone who's in, experiences or expecting a natural user interface. This kid grew up with an iPad. Papa. Papa? And this iPad is broke. It's not working. It's useless. The pinching and the zooming doesn't work. The fingers seem to work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do as well. It's working. So, this is an excellent example of basically what a natural user interface is. An interface you don't have to learn. It's uh, something you expect. That's that's free of, um, uh, free of cultural. Uh, um, every kid in the world, no matter what language it speaks, can interact with an iPad or, or a gesture-based device. So that concludes part one of our series about natural user interfaces. Tomorrow, part two, where we go deeper, and uh, I think it will be three, four episodes. See you tomorrow. Take care.